Australian schools need an investment of $1.5 billion over the next decade and an overhaul of faddish teaching practices to reverse the nation's chronic maths failure. That is the conclusion of the Grattan Institute's Maths Guarantee Report, which has been released today. This report is based on the past two years of NAPLAN results, which showed one third of Australian students have failed to reach maths proficiency. National education and parenting reporter Connor Duffy joins us now. Now, stumping up for a tutor with uh, kids falling behind in maths sounds like a, a common story for parents across Australia. What did this report find, Connor? Uh, yes, good morning, Gemma. The report found that it's an all too common problem. As you mentioned there, one third of Australian students are not meeting minimum standards in maths. When you consider Australia has four million school students, that's a huge number of kids that are behind the eight ball. And we know that when kids fall behind, all too often they never catch back up. Only 20% of kids who are behind in year three have caught up to their classmates by year nine. So that's an incredibly frustrating journey for them through school. We also know for parents, it's incredibly stressful they don't like seeing their kids struggle and you know they've got to then stump up for tutoring which they really shouldn't be having to do for things like basic skills in in maths or literacy and we know according to this report too that teachers aren't feeling supported in the classroom either to give their best many teachers said that they didn't feel confident teaching maths at an upper primary level and many felt they weren't getting the feedback to help them grow professionally here's what Jordana Hunter from the Grattan Institute had to say Around half of teachers in our survey had not received any feedback on their maths teaching in the last 12 months. That's a real worry because we know that professional development in the classroom can really make sure all teachers are thriving and as a result, students are thriving as well. And so Connor, how can this be fixed? Yeah, the good news, Gemma, is that um, it can be fixed by some changes in teaching practice, according to the report, and that finding is backed by reams of other data that have recommended all Australian school systems move to explicit teaching. That's a teaching practice that mixes the best of old school practice with a teacher firmly in charge with modern understandings of the way children's brain learns brains learn and the Grattan Institute has urged that it replace what they call maths light or inquiry based learning where students are often left to figure, them, figure, things, figure things out themselves with the help of games or other kind of unconventional approaches. So people might best remember explicit teaching as being drilling in times tables which we all mm -hmm. experienced at school. Um, you know it didn't feel great at the time but it did pay off later and um, that's the solution that the researchers um, have proposed. Gemma.